everyone and karibuni sana to the Africa Media Festival podcast. For those who were not able to attend the festival or the sessions during the festival, this podcast will bring you highlights featuring some of the speakers and participants. My name is Wanjirunguhe and I will be your host. Please follow us on Africa Media Festival on Instagram, X, Facebook and LinkedIn. We really look forward to seeing you in the next edition. Bye. Everybody, we're at the Africa Media Festival. My name is Wanjiru Nguhe, and welcome to the Africa Media Festival podcast. I am joined by my friend Eliza. Hi, Eliza. Hey, Wanjiru. Hey, nice to see you. <laughs> <laughs> and so, <laughs> I will ask her to We're introduce- having too good of a time. I know, We I haven't know. even started. No, we haven't even begun. So, I'll ask her to introduce herself. Sure. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Tell us a little bit about what you do. Tell us a little bit about um, why you decided to attend the AMF. So many questions, Wanjiru. Um, so my name is Eliza Anyangwe. Mm -hmm. I am the managing editor of CNN's gender inequality reporting team. Mm -hmm. So the CNN team that covers gender issues predominantly mm -hmm. in the global south, but okay. sometimes uh, beyond. Okay. Um, the team is called As Equals. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, the managing editor is basically the person who decides the editorial direction, mm -hmm. um, who uh, edits a lot of the articles, who okay. feels a lot of pitches, who runs the team. Mm -hmm. uh, I live in Amsterdam, mm -hmm. uh, but I'm from Cameroon. Okay. Uh, I actually went to boarding school in, in Kenya, if you didn't know. Oh, mm -hmm. so you have a piece of you everywhere. Everywhere. And my sheng is 20 years old, but mm -hmm. if you if you insist, I might speak some. Okay. Um, so yeah, why did I come? I came to to AMF because I was here at the founding um, festival last oh, year. Last year, okay. And I really just love what the Baraza team are trying to do to um, start a conversation, not just about where media as a product or an industry is going, but mm -hmm. actually where it yes. fits into our budding democracies. Yes. Oh, fantastic, fantastic. And I like that you mentioned where it fits in our democracies. And we had like a few sessions. We had many, many sessions. We had like a total of so many sessions, 20 plus sessions. Yeah. So out of the sessions that you attended and facilitated, which ones are the ones that stood out for you? Do you have any highlights for us? Uh, yeah, or anything you would like to share? Sure. Uh, one of the things that is a highlight just generally was that this, um, there were a lot more practical workshop sessions. Mm -hmm. uh, I attended one that was really fantastic. I almost mm -hmm. wish there was more time because... Mm -hmm. Um, by the time the speakers get going and then people start thinking up questions, mm -hmm. you're almost three quarters of the way through. But yeah. that was really helpful to have a space where you can think uh, practically mm -hmm. about a whole range of subjects. Yeah. I ran two workshops. One mm -hmm. was a workshop on mm -hmm. how to finesse your gender journalism. Yeah. Um, and the other was a workshop um, trying to introduce an idea that a lot of African journalists or people who are interested in journalism might not be thinking about, which mm -hmm. is how do um, pre-democratic leaders mm -hmm. use the idea ideas of gender to mm -hmm. grow political power. So we yeah. on this continent are really interested in politics, yes. but we're not really seeing how gender and politics connect. Mm -hmm. And we were having a really fantastic discussion. And I just love some of the questions, particularly mm -hmm. from the young people okay. who came to that session. Oh, fantastic. So what is a surprising or an interesting thing you, for first of all, what is a surprising question that you asked, that you were asked? So, a uh, surprising question. Uh, this was, it wasn't surprising, but it was a great question. Mm -hmm. Somebody said, uh, she was a journalist from South Sudan, mm -hmm. and she said that people tend to associate uh, women's rights movements mm -hmm. with foreign donors, international organizations, mm -hmm. and that the people who are anti-women's rights mm -hmm. tend to be local organizations. Mm -hmm. And what made that a really interesting question is that it reveals how that's not true. Yes. Because actually a lot of what we call the anti-rights movement mm -hmm. Movement, the anti-gender movement yes. are funded also, yes. but then you require investigative journalists to dig up that money. Mm, yes. And yet, you know, the, the women's rights organizations, mm. the donors are very quick to want mm. to, to be made visible, to yes. be said to be supporting, and yes. that this might actually be undermining the cause mm. of women's rights on the continent. Oh, that is so true. Right? It's so that interesting, is so That right? is such a good question. That yeah. was such a, such a good question. Yeah. So when we talk about the theme of this year's AMF, the theme is what next media? Uh, and so, like, what do you think is next in media? and what is your contribution to what is next? Yeah, so my uh, contribution to what is next mm -hmm. is probably the same as what I hope will be next in media, or maybe slightly different. Yeah. To the first question, what's next in media, I think, I hope uh, journalists will see and media platforms will see mm -hmm. that we have to take our stories off the platform and into spaces. Mm -hmm. okay. Because what we can do that AI bots can't do yes. um, is to curate conversation yeah. um, and to 
open up for discussion between mm. our audiences yes. where views are becoming so much more polarized yes, yes. Um, thanks to disinformation online. Yes, yes. Um, and what I would like to do as part of that is mm -hmm. to center gender mm -hmm. as a fundamental area that shapes our lives, yes. our ability to live uh, freely and fully and die with dignity, mm -hmm. our gender and our sexuality yeah. um, really determines this for us, no yeah. matter where we are in the world. Yeah. And how can we make the journalism that focuses on this mm -hmm. not seem niche, yeah. but seem fundamental, as fundamental as climate change as reporting, mainstream, as mainstream, as that's possible. exactly the word, yes, as mainstream as, mainstream, as possible. Yeah. And so part of that is about supporting the journalists who do this type of work, mm -hmm. producing more high quality work, but also being available to talk about that work. All right. Thank you so much. Oh, and it's I'm a pleasure, to that. I'm really looking forward to that. Asante. Because Jen is usually looks like there's a main thing and then there's a nice, cute Jen right. story. Right. And yet it's a main thing. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank, and thank you. you for being such a great facilitator and thank you for coming to all our AMS festivals. Girl, what am I going to do without these compliments <laughs> when I go home? <laughs> and thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for watching. And thank you so much for continuing to subscribe on all Africa Media Festival channels across all platforms. And I hope to see you in the next episode. I also hope to see you in the next festival. Bye. Kwaheri. Hello, everyone, and Karibuni Sana to the Africa Media Festival podcast. For those who are not able to attend the festival or the sessions during the festival, this podcast will bring you highlights featuring some of the speakers and participants. My name is Wanjiru Nguhe, and I will be your host. Please follow us on Africa Media Festival on Instagram, X, Facebook, and LinkedIn. We really look forward to seeing you in the next edition. Bye.